Let's continue to do some construction um, and please check my site explainingmaths.com where you will find all my resources nicely organized. Okay, we are doing construction using these beautiful mathematical tools like a compass, a protractor and of course a long uh, ruler, yeah, a 30 centimeter ruler. Um, in the previous video we've constructed a triangle when we were given one length and two angles, but now we're going to construct a triangle with lengths of 6 cm, 5 and 8 cm, so they don't give us any um, angle sizes. Okay, well, not a problem, we're going to start by picking one of these lengths, and I'll just start with the first one, 6 cm. So I already drew for you, on this piece of paper, uh, a line of 6 cm, okay? Um, of course, I can draw that line in any direction, but let's like, make our lives a little bit easy and do it horizontally, okay? Six centimeters. One of the other lengths should be five centimeters. And let's say we're gonna take that from this point, five centimeters away. Now, if I take my ruler and I look at five centimeters, that is, for instance, over there. It's five centimeters away. But do I just draw this line now? Is that the line I should be drawing? Because I also have five centimeters away a point over here and also a point over there is five centimeters away but also a point over here is five centimeters away so which one should I pick well I don't know yet but hopefully you see this looks like and it is the circumference of a circle so what do I do I take my compass and I open my compass on five centimeters and I do that accurately very accurately this is construction you have to work accurately. Okay, let me do that. Five centimeters, okay, fantastic. I saw, uh, said in my previous video, make sure you have a compass where the legs or the arms don't move very easily. And once you've opened it, only touch it or hold it at the top. Okay, five centimeters. And I'm gonna stand, I put the needle in my corner. I'm going to draw that part of the circle, that arc, yeah, that part of the circumference, five centimeters away from that point. So, this is one point of my triangle. That is a vertex of my triangle. Where is the third one? Somewhere on the circumference here, somewhere on this arc. But I don't know where yet. But they give me more information because they say the other length should be eight centimeters. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take my ruler, open it on eight centimeters, uh, and of course, again, I do that accurately, eight centimeters, and I hope that will fit because I'm making it a little bit bigger so you can see it. Eight centimeters, yeah, there we go. I open it on eight centimeters. I only hold it at the top. I don't want to move it. I put my needle now in the other vertex, and again, and that's gonna be a bit challenging, which is quite big, but again, I draw that circumference, that part of the circumference, I should say, yeah, over there. Because I'm interested in that point of intersection, and I was actually quite close uh, when I was guessing before. <coughs> Excuse me. Because what is so interesting about that point of intersection? Well, over here, it is exactly 5 centimeters away from this point, and it's exactly 8 centimeters away from that point. Okay? So, I can finish my triangle now by drawing this line, and by drawing this line and all of that I do with a sharp pencil and this ruler and I make sure that the vertices yeah it is all accurate and it nice yeah, it's, it's it's all nicely presented okay finally I have to say these are your construction arcs you do not rub them out they are part of your solution yeah it is beautiful that you can show the people around you how you constructed this fantastic triangle you've used a compass you've used a ruler Beautiful. Okay. Um, the next video I'm going to construct a parallelogram for you, or you can go to my site explainingmaths.com where you will find all my resources nicely organized. And like and share this video if it was useful, yeah, so I can help your friends too. Thank you. See you later.